Hello students, welcome back. In our previous class, we saw the broad category of real numbers which is further divided into different subcategories, right? So let us draw a diagram because pictures are worth thousand words, right? So let's say I have the father of numbers which is real numbers, right? I'm going to further divide this. I'll write real numbers outside. Okay, we know that real numbers are further divided into two categories. One is rational numbers and the other one is irrational numbers. Right? Now within rational numbers, we have different other categories. So, which is the next broader subcategory of rational numbers? It is integers. Right? Within integers, we have whole numbers. And within whole numbers, we have natural numbers. So, let us first define our rational numbers. Rational numbers are nothing but numbers that can be represented in the form p upon q where q is not equal to 0. Right? And the word rational is derived from the term ratio. Okay? So, ratio here that is why we have written p upon q which is a ratio p is to q correct now we will see why all these numbers integers whole numbers natural numbers belong to the rational numbers category let's take for example natural numbers i have numbers 1 2 3 up to infinity so can we represent these four numbers in the form of rational numbers let's take a look i'll take one for example Okay, so 1 can be written as 1 upon 1, right? It can be written as 2 upon 2, right? Why 2 upon 2? Two? 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2 gives me a 1, right? 1 can also be written as minus 3 upon minus 3. So minus minus cancels, 3 1s are 3, 3 1s are 3. Even for that matter, we have 100 upon 100. So, 100 ones are 100, 100 ones are 100. So, I get 1. So, we have represented your natural numbers in the form p upon q where q is not equal to 0. Right? Now, let us take a look at whole numbers. Whole numbers has 0 and natural numbers. Right? We just took a look at natural numbers. Let us take a look at 0. So, you have 0. Right? 0 can be represented as 0 upon 1 right it can be also represented as 0 upon minus 81 right 0 divided by any number basically is going to give you 0 so if you even if you have 1000 i'm sorry 0 upon 1000 this is also going to everything is going to give you 0 any number divided by 0 is going to give me 0 so again we have represented our whole numbers Right? Whole numbers 0 as well as natural numbers in the form p upon q where q is not equal to 0. Therefore, whole numbers are defined within rational numbers. Okay? Now, let us take a look at integers. So, integers first of all, they are from minus infinity, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, up to infinity. Right? So, let us take a look at, for example, minus 2. Now, minus 2 can be represented as minus 2 upon 1, which is p upon q and q is not equal to 0, right? This can also be represented as minus 4 upon 2. Let us cancel and check. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, right? 
so I get minus 2. If I have, we have taken a look at the positive side, right? Let us take another number, for example, 3. 3 also belongs to the set of integers, right? So, 3 can be written as 3 upon 1, we know that. 3 can also be written as minus 3 upon minus 1. The negative and the negative will cancel and you have 3 upon 1. This can also be written as minus 9 upon minus 3. See, minus minus cancels, 3 1s are 3, 3 3s three are 9. These are all equivalent fractions. Therefore, our integers are also represented in the form p upon q where q is not equal to 0 which is why integers are a part of rational numbers. Now, irrational numbers cannot be represented or cannot be expressed in the form of p upon q where q is not equal to 0. So, uh, examples would be root 2, root 3, pi, basically squares of prime numbers or pi and there are many other numbers which we will see as we proceed with the chapter. These are just examples. So, I hope this diagram has made your concept even more clear. Please take a look. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.